Hey, the moment, friends! Ending here for another episode of the Epic Story. When we last left off, we met up with the Rangers once again on our way to Isengard to confront Saruman. And, well, now we are going to be doing just that by confronting Saruman in the near future. Let's go ahead and talk to Radnir. It seems you found Evergorn before we did, Staff Tech. Perhaps we should have gone with you. Perhaps. It was not a long goodbye after all, Staff Tang. Though the intervening days have been eventful, I think Halbarad keenly felt the burden of his duty after you left us, for he was not sure how best to proceed. But it seems he chose aright, for we have found Aragorn as the words of Galadriel bade us. The sons of Elrond bear message for him, from their father, and Halbarad carries the gift of Arwen. I trust that Aragorn will know what to do with each of these gifts. This is truly an unexpected encounter, Staftang. I'm glad to see you are well, and in the company of Aragorn, no less. Our errand has not ended, though its first goal be now accomplished. Now we must lend what aid we can to Aragorn. Is it true you take the road to Isengard? Whatever other objective Aragorn has with Saruman, we must add this one as well. The rescue of Lothrendir, my kinsman, if he yet lives. Yes. Forgot about that. Habrad has given me much to think about, Staff Tang. We have more reasons to converse with Saruman than I believed. I feel confident that we can accomplish anything, Staff Teng, now that my kinsmen are here. Can it be that the tides turn in our favor this day? That is a good question. I believed we would see each other again, but I did not know it would be so soon. Sending you from us was not an easy decision, but I knew Theodred had need of your aid. What sadness that he could not be saved from that fate. But perhaps that too contributed to this resolve of the Aer Lingas. The Grey Company has done what it set out to do. We have ridden to our chieftain in Rohan, and it seems we have come in time, after all. Some of our number were lost on this way, but those of us that remain will do everything in our power to ensure that Aragorn can fulfill his destiny. I'm glad to see you again, Staff Dang. I have much to think about and little time in which to do so. This is an unexpected joy, my friend. Had I known they were journeying to find me, Aragorn looks at you wryly. When you spoke to me of the Dunatine, I did not suspect you had travelled with them in recent days, Staff Deng. I did not think I would have changed my course had I known. But perhaps it is the power of hindsight. Perhaps it is the wisdom of Elrond behind your silence my friend. He is never quick to volunteer information, which makes the word of his sons even more curious. I have much to think about, and little time in which to do so. I am most curious to see what we will find in Isengard. I spoke briefly with Halbarad, and if I had business within Isengard before now, I counted double. We must find if Lothrandir still lives within the ring, Staff Dang. Let Gandalf speak with Saruman for weeks, if that is what he is desire. My thoughts are of my kinsman. I have not seen him for many years. But Lothrandir has been a friend for longer than that, and I will not abandon him. Let us ride the road to Isengard. I'm most curious to see what it is we will find. 
All right, ride along the road north. North. And there is Isengard. Sight we've not befell since, what, book four? It's been a long time. Now we're here once again in book 14. Now entering Nan Coronia. A curious stillness covers the land, and pools of water stand near the road. Hmm. Isengard has been much changed since last you beheld it. You may not recognize it. I dare say Saruman himself does not. Though he brought it upon himself. Okay, ride north to the gate of Isengard. The very walls of Isengard have been damaged by some mighty force. Hello there. It's been a long time. I hope you are well. Welcome to Isengard. The look on your face is quite a thing to see, my confused friend. Welcome to Isengard. You have had a number of adventures, I expect. And would you believe that we have as well? <laughs> we have all come a long way from Lothlorien, haven't we? Much of the trip was rather unpleasant, owing to our new friends, Ogluk and Grisnach. I suppose they are old friends now. We shouldn't be seeing them again, and that is a relief. Treebeard and Quickbeam are nice fellows, if a little odd. <laughs> and I do believe I have grown several inches taller. Pippin laughs at your confused look. I don't mean metaphorically, Staffdang. Though perhaps I have uh, at that as well. <laughs> I mean that I actually have grown taller. I think Pip is trying to confuse you on purpose. He gets the chance to do that so infrequently that he delights in whatever he, the opportunity presents itself. It seems we have gone from the fire back into the frying pan for once. Pip and I were dragged halfway across Rohan by our captors, and though we have arrived at Isengard, it was in the strong hands of a friend, and not at the whips of Saruman's orcs. It was Treebeard who brought us here. You see, and he is where... Well, he is Fangorn, and Fangorn is he, apparently. This is more difficult than I expected when I began to tell it. We found some pipe weed inside, and... The gatehouse over there. How about you bring me some more out of there, and I will tell it properly to you. Okay, let's go into the gatehouse. As it is now flooded. They did such great environmental design, destroying Isengard. The gatehouse is filled with rubble, and the flood waters have reached here too. Here we go, some pipe weed. Whoops. All right, here we go. Pipe weed to marry outside the gatehouse. If I remember right, yeah, there's an orc that got crushed by that. Allow me to refill my pipe, and I can resume my story. <laughs> very good, my friend. This is a very high quality pipe weed of the sort they grow in the South Farthing back home. Allow me to refill my pipe, and I can resume my story. I was going to tell about Treebeard and the Ents, I believe. Let me see. But it seems that Aragorn is troubled about something. Perhaps you should speak with him first, and I will continue my story when he has a happier look about him. That pipeweed was not grown at Isengard. It came from the Shire. Which means that Saruman has had his eye upon that land for some while. I do not like that at all. If our fortune holds, the wizard will have no further chance for mischief. His interests in the Shire may have extended only to its pipeweed. I do not I doubt, doubt Saruman's it. ability to strike, even now. Saruman seems to be in a tough position, 
but I would counsel caution in our dealings with him. I do not doubt his ability to strike even now, and a cornered beast can still do great harm. I wish Gandalf was delivering both of these lines, both the past one and this one, because I feel like Gandalf is more fitting to find out about this stuff. Gandalf went ahead to the base of Orthanc. Find him and see what he thinks of the situation. Saruman has really let this place go. Aragorn is right to advise caution. Saruman has suffered a defeat, it is true. But we must not be overconfident, or it will be no lasting defeat. He is cunning and full of tricks. And even a cornered beast can do great harm. Okay, quoting Aragorn. Indeed, that is when it is most dangerous. You tell Gandalf that Aragorn said much the same, and the wizard smiles briefly. Good. It seems he learned something from me after all. But this is no time for idle talk. There is a wizard to manage now. Speak to Treebeard. I must think on the next, on our next step. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. So bad. Intvio is the worst in this game. Hroom, hoom, hoom. The work of the Ents here is done. But Skandalf's work is only beginning, Harum Balum. Yours too, perhaps. I do not understand this desire for Balum adventure. Do you not enjoy standing in a green field? With sunlight on your face. Do you not enjoy drinking deeply of cold mountain waters? Treebeard rumbles for a moment. It is no matter. The waters will cleanse this place. But some orcs may still linger. Search the surface and see what you find. Gandalf tells me a friend of yours was imprisoned here. I hope you find a sign of him. We ints allow a number of Dunlendings to leave in peace. But we saw no other friendly folk. Alright, well I think that that does do it for this episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. We are getting super close to the end here. Hopefully in the next couple episodes. But I'm really enjoying it right now while we're going through it. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of the Epic Story. Mm -hmm.